dough, your money to China under his watch, like the $1.8 million in stimulus money spent on this federal building that reportedly used solar panels from China, or the $2.6 million in stimulus going to a Texas group that reportedly purchased wind turbines from China. Mike, you say this is the very definition of hypocrisy. How so? David, President Obama is being a huge hypocrite here. Here he is taking taxpayer money, throwing it over to China, then criticizing Romney for using private capital and investing it in China. Romney's doing it to make a profit. Obama's doing it for political favors. Look, what is Obama going to say about all the pensions that profit from investments in China? The S&P 500 corporations get almost half their profit from China. This shows the president is absolutely clueless and is a good example of why the economy is doing so bad. Mark, is this hypocrisy? Well, neither side is clean here, uh, and this is really just election year table pounding. We need China as a trade partner. We don't want a trade war with China. We're very dependent on their economy and they're dependent on our economy. Mitt Romney has, has invested heavily in China. He's outsourcing China. He has family trusts that are invested in China. Both sides have, have, have done things here. If you want to call this hypocrisy, call it hypocrisy, but nobody's clean here. Well, by the way, Steve, it's, it's not just China that we're outsourcing taxpayer money. 2.8 billion dollars in Department of Energy money went to a Spanish firm that does uh, solar stuff. So this is this is not just China. We are outsourcing a lot of tax money overseas. Yeah, two points, David. One is what Romney does is voluntary. No one's forcing him to do it. Whereas when the government does it, it's forcibly taking our money, taxpayer resources, and playing for politics with it. The other thing to keep in mind is the real issue with China is about uh, forced transfers of technology, trade barriers, stealing our intellectual property rights. That's what both candidates should be focused on and uh, not this thing about who invests more in China. And Rick Unger, the thing is, if it's private money, may it go where it will. Uh, I mean, and private investors are free to do what they want with their money, but not my money, not my tax dollars. You know, I have no allergic reaction to Governor Romney investing in China if that's what he wants to do. I think the issue here is that he makes these investments, then he goes out on the campaign trail and he trashes China. He tells us all these things he's going to get tough about when we know he's never going to do any of it. And then How do we know then, that, by the way? Well, okay, we don't know it. I'm pretty darn sure it's not going to happen. But here's what the most interesting part is, is that when he finally releases his tax return, we see that he quickly sold off the investments that he had because he, was, he looked guilty. I mean, that's just kind of silly, isn't it? It's like the kid getting caught with his hand in, in the cookie jar. If you feel okay about it, then don't sell it off because you're running for president. But, Victoria, talk about hands caught in the cookie jar. When you look at all of the billions of dollars of tax dollars that have gone to outsourcing to foreign countries, doesn't that make President Obama look hypocritical? Well, yeah, I think what's interesting here is that Obama tried to play the role of, you know, VC investor when it came to green tech and, and, and creating green jobs. And he found that you can't avoid China. By one American University study, 80% of the first $2 billion in stimulus went overseas to China and other countries. And that's a statement on the U.S. That says that we need to do more to become competitive. And, of course, he's not addressing that. So I think that the more pressing issue is that, hey, this is, an, this is a U.S. issue. If, if, if you're an investor today, you can't avoid China. And, Rich, isn't it a fact that one of the reasons Solyndra went bust and took about a half a billion of our tax dollars with it is because China was actually doing stuff better than they could? Yeah, Solyndra couldn't meet the China price, and they knew it, and everybody, anybody invested in that field knew it, and yet the government put money in there anyway. But I feel this is kind of an outdated argument. You know, what both of these candidates should be concentrating on is all the wonderful things that can lead to this renaissance in American manufacturing, energy independence, for example, robotics. You know, I feel like this China argument is yesterday's argument. Concentrate on the future, and the future would look right if one of these ninnies would talk about it. And Mike, as 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 long as long as we're not actually outsourcing our jobs, as long as they're not actually stealing our secrets, uh, we get what we can from China, right? Absolutely. Look, Apple Computer, their iPhones are hot. They make a lot of their products overseas, and I happen to think Romney was very smart in it. So look, the Chinese economy has been tanking. Rick, he was just ahead of the time. Shows what a good investor he is. He's a great investor. He just won't be a very good president. <laughs> Last word from Rick Unger. Well, cutting classes to come.